All right, welcome back to House of Prep. Jerry here. I actually have three things to talk about. This is going to be one of them in just a minute. And this will also be another one that I want to talk about briefly. But the first one I want to talk about is uh, emails. When we get emails uh, from the subscribers, uh, they'll send them directly to me with questions or things. And I uh, wanted to thank everybody, everybody that jumped on my very last video, uh, coming up with some non-food prepper items uh, for Anna, who had a question, a uh, newer prepper, and this obviously would help many newer preppers, and I think uh, a lot of people were able to watch that video. Uh, wow, what a great response for your comments. Thank you so much. I read things, things I had forgotten, a couple things. I was like, wow, it's a great idea. A lot of well thought out and planned out uh, comments. Thank you for that. Uh, which leads me to, I received another email yesterday from another uh, one of our family members here in our community uh, from Nancy. Now, Nancy had an issue that happened. Um, I'll give you a quick, just a basic synopsis. She asked me to please just warn everybody to always be alert, uh, just to always stay vigilant, know your surroundings, uh, keep yourself, you know, not that you're going to live day to day in fear or anything, but to keep your head on a swivel. She her and some others were on a hike in an area for years that always safe, you know, this nice hiking trail. Uh, got confronted by a Jeep on a hiking trail, if you could imagine that. Uh, sounds like driver and passengers had been d drinking and possibly under drug usage and such and uh, led into a lot of serious uh, anger and threatening and uh, bullying and sounds like she fared well and those with her fared well uh, but she wanted to be a reminder that just out of the blue out of nowhere your circumstance can be your mind in your own business and having a great day and running doing your thing and all of a sudden the spit gets turned on and you're in a world of the trouble you know, you've got an issue you got to deal with and uh, just makes you remind you of a lot of things you know uh, for those of you you know, might have some ideas and opinions on dealing with blind sides, but also just, again, alert for anybody. Uh, just simple things, even like when you're leaving a, a store and at the mall and you're heading out to your car and not just keeping your head down buried in your cell phone. Uh, people are watching you, okay? Just so you know, you're, in, you're walking through this huge parking lot and unfortunately there are predators out there, there's thieves out there. Look, Keep your head up. Your cell phone can wait. Wait till you get in your car, lock your car, and you can look, read your cell phone. Uh, but come out of that store. Keep your head alert. You know, keep your valuables close to you. Look around. If you've noticed anything suspicious, go the opposite direction and get help. Or, you know, get your hand on your personal protection item if you have one. And you just, if you, you see something that's making you nervous, your instinct, you know, your spidey sense goes off, uh, you know, be prepared. Just keep alert. Not you know, you're going to walk around life in fear, but you need to understand. You need to be aware of your surroundings. And so, anyway, Nancy, thank you for the reminder and the heads up that look, real life happens. And I know more than just Nancy, everybody would have a story of when something all of a sudden, boom, you're in the middle of a heated situation uh, that you didn't ask for. Uh, you weren't expecting it, but here you are. You're dealing with something and. And then how do we learn from that? And how do we better prepare ourselves from another heated situation? So thank you, Nancy. And again, I hope that might help some of you to start maybe, hey, I need to consider that and think about that. So again, keep your head on a swivel. So the next topic here, I want to talk about this item right here. And we got this for a Christmas present. And I'm not quite sure yet how to use it. <laughs> so... I'm not sure, and this thing's not even, hold on, yep, it's got it real good here at the top. So this is what it is, an air fryer, and I've heard some good things about this, but, you know, I'm not real sure. I'm, I'm personally not familiar with this. Uh, so if somebody can give me some, you know, feedback, yay, nay, what's your experiences, what do what you used in here, uh, what, what cooks well with this, what doesn't cook well with this, uh, well, yeah, I'd, I'd appreciate some feedback. This, is, this would help me. And if there's some others out there, hey, they might have the same question and maybe they've never used one of these. 
Um, it sounds really cool. We have a family member that got this for us and they use it. Um, so it sounds like it does well. Um, but I would love to get some more opinions and get some ideas. Um, you know, where do I go from here? <laughs> Haven't even gotten it out of the box yet. So it's still, it's ready to go. But uh, the next grocery run, I want to kind of know what should I buy to, to experiment with this. So that's for me. I appreciate that. Uh, the last thing I just want to talk about um, when in this world that we're always talking about food shortage in my title, uh, you know, looking for food supplies, we had to can things, you know, if you see my my thumbnail. Uh, thankfully, some of these items are coming back. I was at Kroger uh, yesterday or so, and, and I took that picture and it shows a lot of the candy and stuff are coming back. Jars and lids are coming back in. So that's a good sign. That means that for people that have been searching for those, that, hey, now it's starting to kind of flood back in a little bit. People are slowing down buying maybe just a little bit. So now get those, get what you can. Just keep doing what your prepping is. So talking about this book one second after, um, for if you've watched some of my videos, you know that I've been reading this book. And I've now completed it. I have finished this book, and I have two others, the, the sequel to this book. And this one in particular, though, I, I've completed. And, you know, man, what it's a story. It, it didn't happen, but it tells you the events um, with even as a foreword on here by Newt Gingrich of just obviously what could happen, uh, that it is a realistic event as far as it could possibly take place, meaning that the, the tools that are out there that people would love to have this become a reality, uh, even here in America. Um, so it's just a reminder uh, for me, eh, without giving stuff away, let's just say that people, you know, ballpark needed to have you know, supplies for a long term, right? Because I mean, if you're reading this, I don't want to go into details of the book. But let's say I'm looking at a year, okay, just for me and my personal household. Um, some of the, the obstacles that you immediately start finding in this book is a lot of health. Uh, man, we've got to take care of ourselves. I'm in my 40s, and I'm hoping that you know, I'm not alone in this, but when you start getting a little older, your body starts talking to you. Um, you start going to the doctors and you start seeing, oh, they're, you know, now they're preaching at me and stuff. But look, they're trying to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves. Um, when you're watching you know, blood pressure and blood sugar levels and they're trying to warn you, and they're saying, hey, you need to watch your diet. Um, and if sometimes I eat things that are sugary or maybe salty and sodiums and things. And, but I've learned to balance that. Uh, your health is, is so important. And even in reading this book, when you run into some kind of a crisis, any type of a crisis, having your health and the ability to take care of yourself, um, man, lined up with food stocks, water stocks, all those things, you know, the non prepper items, your health. Look, folks, take care of yourself. If you haven't been to the doctor in a long time, and I get it. I've been there. I've been one of the ones that have always said for years, you know, I don't go to doctors. I don't need no doctors. I don't, you know, I don't have, I don't get sick. I don't need doctors. But unfortunately, our human bodies aren't made to last for eternity. Okay. So this is just a reminder of something that was on my mind. And just as a heads up for you, I know you don't need this. You don't need to be preached at. But, uh, you know, if you've read this book, you understand what I'm saying. If you haven't read this book, hey, I recommend it. I think it's a good. Uh, tool to kind of maybe get your mind thinking about things, uh, the what if scenarios. And it's just a great, nothing that scares you. I hope it doesn't scare you, um, but something that just kind of gets you going. So this uh, finished it. That was my heads up for you. Questions on that or any other comments that you have about personal security and safety uh, when you're out in public, uh, dealing with bullies, dealing with intoxicated people. Uh, you might have some tips on the best way to handle those situations. Obviously, remain calm, right? Get your wits about you. Be the one that has more wits in the conversation, uh, more self-control than the other person so that you can think and that you can use your intellect to help guide you on how to handle that situation. And obviously, if you're able to, uh, get help or authorities. Uh, sounds like Nancy got eyewitnesses and things. Uh, so uh, I'm sure if she jumps in here, she might tell you a little more about her story if she chooses to that's on that's her choice uh, but anyway just wanted to stop in say hey to you hope you ever all have a great weekend as we start this new year 
I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for the new subscribers. If you haven't done so yet, hit the like button for this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you know, the water's warm. Jump on in. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, lots of great videos. You can go back and uh, don't forget, again, read the comments on my videos. My videos, really, I feel sometimes like I'm just kind of like the one who just kind of sets up the topic. And then, man, read the t comments. Comments are all usually just loaded with all kinds of great information. Uh, so I just kind of like the facilitator. That's the word I was looking for. I'm just kind of like the facilitator. Uh, the real show uh, can happen right there in the comments. So you all have a great rest of the day and a good weekend, and I'll talk to you all later.